Yeah, it's been, I mean, I haven't really practiced it much in practice yet. I did it one practice because I've been busy with club volleyball, so I haven't got to practice it much, but it was good for the first meet to come out and jump 410. So 410, what are, what are you thinking? I know you, you got to stay with a pretty good jump last year. What are you thinking with that? Um, 410 is pretty good for the first meet, I think, but I want to get over five foot again and jump over five one is what my best was last year. Talk about some of your runs uh, today. I know 400 hurdles we're just coming off of. Uh, you got a relay, a couple relays, one still to come. Uh, what, what do you think, kind of some of your running, uh, where do you think you'll be in some of these running events this year? Um, we did really good in our four by two. We got second and I kind of struggled on 400 hurdles because I haven't really practiced them much either, but I'm hoping it gets a lot better and I think we'll do pretty good in our four by four. We have a lot of good runners in that. Yeah, I was really nervous. The first race of the year is always really scary. My goal is to get under 110 to start the season and I got a 111. So I was a little disappointed in that, but I can't be too upset because it was my first time. Yeah, first time. I Talk about, I mean, you've had just a few practices coming off of basketball. I mean, what's that been like trying to get into track shape a little bit? Uh, track shape and basketball shape are a whole lot different. You don't really realize it until you're dying and you thought you were in good shape. So it's been tough, but it's nice to get back in the groove. I know you won the 4 by 2 too. I talk about that a little bit. What was working some of your teammates there too? Uh, we tried to stack the 4 by 2 this meet to try to get a time that could qualify for Drake. Where we probably got five seconds we still need to cut off, but with handoffs perfecting those, I think we could get it. I felt like I got out pretty good, but our handoff was a little shaky because we haven't practiced. I've been gone, actually, and so has she, so okay. that was our first handoff of the year for a 4-1. And, and you get a win, so you got to feel pretty good about yeah. going forward. What, what are some things you need to work on with that handoff to make it better? Just uh, practice? Just practice, okay. yeah. Okay, I'll have you hand it off to Sarah. Okay, Sarah, so you get the handoff, which wasn't quite as good as you would have liked. Uh, <laughs> where did you go from there a little bit? Um, You know, just... Tried to get out fast and make sure I get it to Devin. And <laughs> it'd go about how you want it to overall. You um, run down yeah. the back stretch there. Yeah. Okay. Pretty well. That'll work. I'll have you hand it off to Devin there. Okay, Devin, you're coming around the turn here. How how do you feel it went? Um, I felt pretty good. I thought our handoff was pretty solid, and I just wanted to get out pretty fast and hard and try and get it off to Rainy as best as I could. Okay. So did you feel your run was about like you wanted it to be then? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good for our first meet, yeah. Okay, so your first meet, I'll have you hand it to Rainy here. And you, you bring it home here. You had a pretty good lead going in. Uh, yeah. Take me through kind of having to hold on to that a little bit. Um, I thought our handoff was pretty good, and I just knew I had to kick it in and finish out the race for us, and I felt pretty strong. So a nice anchor leg. Uh, take me through. Is this kind of going to be the team that's going to go forward with the 4x1 for Glenwood this year? I think so, yeah. Try to qualify for the week. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about uh, what's that going to take if you're going to get there? Um, I think our handoffs need to be shaped up a little bit. Um, we can get out pretty strong. There's a couple of us that can get out, and I think if we work, we can get it. Anybody else want to say anything? Okay. Uh, I think that we just dedicated. This team is a really good team, and we can switch it up and still be solid. And like Devin could start, any one of us could start, anyone could finish, and I think we could go all the way to Drake and even place. So. Yeah, this isn't our first meet. We had three indoor meets in the last week and a half to really get us tuned up. And uh, we were real excited to get out here in the nice weather. Uh, we didn't 
We've been stacking things up in the indoors. Now we're starting to spread ourselves out a little bit, see what we can do in terms of scoring team points. Uh, talk about your sprinters a little bit. I know you got three or four, at least three or four sprinters uh, that are really good, had some success indoors, and had some success today. Kind of take me through those girls a little bit. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, real quality girls that we can do anything with. You know, girls that can run from a one to an eight, and so we're very versatile. Uh, Audrey Bollinger and Caitlin Briley are two seniors. Uh, they're, they're our rocks. Uh, uh, they're our anchors for most of our relays. Uh, Brianna Maitland is a junior, and she's right there with them. Uh, in terms of sprinters, uh, all three of those were state qualifiers last year, as well as Zadie Frank, sophomore. Uh, she's really our, our only true sprinter. Uh, she runs just ones and twos. The rest of those girls are very versatile. Uh, talk about the distance. I mean, a lot of people know about Emily and how she's kind of burst on the scene. She did well again today, it looked like. Emily Wignall, you know, this is her third year tearing things up in cross country and track. And uh, now we've got a way deeper core of distance runners from the 8s, uh, 15s, and 3000s is where we're deepest at. Uh, we've got Maria Mostek, who is a state qualifier in cross country freshman. Uh, we've got a couple other freshmen, uh, Reagan Smith and Maddie Scarda. Uh, who have been run, working eights, trying to get built up for 15s. They ran the first one a day. Katie Stevens, the junior, hadn't been out for a couple years. We got her out, and she's been running really well, too. Uh, how do you feel overall that this team can kind of stack up now that you've seen about half the conference? I know there's some very good talent up in the northern half, too. Um, where do you feel you can stack up? What has to happen for you guys to be able to, to compete here down the stretch? Well, the Hawkeye 10 is as tough as they come uh, for 3A conferences, and uh, we know that. And... Uh, we think that we're going to be able to stack right up there with them. Harlan is, you know, the elite. Um, last year, Glenwood and Atlantic there, two and three, and we want to be fighting with Glenwood and Atlantic for team points and uh, see what we can't do in some specific events against Harlan.